What's up guys, it's Ronan again, and today I'm going to be giving you a more in-depth video about this Tiger II. So, a little bit about this tank. The commander of this tank was Wilhelm Dollinger. So the tank number was 213, which was actually the turret number, and you can still see that on the tank today. The production date was October 1944. The length of this tank is 10.28 meters, the width is 3.65 meters, the height is 3.09 meters, the weight is about 69 tons, the maximum speed is about 35 kilometers per hour, and the armor was between 40 and 180 millimeters. The main weapon was an 88 millimeter gun, the secondary weapon were two MG34s, well, MG34 machine guns, and one mortar turret. It had a crew of five, and all of them did survive the battle, so the engine was a V12 Maybach HL 230 P30 and the, had 700 horsepower and it consumed 487 liters per 100 kilometers. So let's start off in the front. So the front armor was about six inches around and that um, in the Tiger II and the front plate armor. And it, that is very heavy armor, con like considering that a tank armor. That means you can see all of these shots from like American British tanks. You could see this one went into the tank, didn't, well, it hit the tank, didn't do anything. It just dented it. And you could see another one went like smaller, like maybe a Hellcat, I don't know, but like a really fast, smaller round, like maybe 40 millimeter. And then this one is either like a 75 millimeter or something, but it hit right there. And it's still, I think that's still part of the um, metal is still stuck in there. And you could see this was heavier armor than the bottom armor because it's harder to aim at. And there's these things to, so you can pull it. And you still have the, this is mi missing. There would be like this hook. I don't know the name. I, I just forgot the name. But there's also this um, hole gun. It's a 30 cal hole gun. There's also another one right there. You can see there's this little hole. And yes, I just remember the name. It, a winch would go here on both sides and you would attach it to another vehicle that would pull it. And this tank was 70 tons around that. And that is extremely heavy. And like, that's insane. <laughs> and yeah, but you could see another tank shot here, but at the angle, it would shoot, not directly hit. Like the Tiger One would have a flat, flat armor and it would just directly hit and it would be easier to penetrate, but this one just hit and just bounced off and hit the ground somewhere. And um, this actual tank was taken over by the Americans because they, because the, um, the unit, the people, the crew abandoned the tank because it was heavily damaged. And uh, the Americans took it over and this village traded a battle of, a bottle of cognac for this um, entire tank and they don't even need to use this tank it's basically it's broken up severely damaged and it's just for show that they have a tiger too and you can see that they here's a here are the tracks it's broken here this obviously got hit by something not too big of a round i don't think this got hit also maybe that's another hole i do not know for a fact but also you can see probably a 50 cal went through here an american 50 cal you could see there's a little 30 cal hit there is bird poop <laughs> and you can see look here there is a dent here so maybe a, a 50 cal 30 cal or whatever came in from this side and went over and hit right there and i feel it down there you can see it under there and this is an exit hole of some sort of 30 cal, 50 cal, I do not know. It's hard to tell now, but you can see there is more, here's the tracks. I'm looking for battle damage on here, but I don't see much more, not something completely significant. There's something, wait. So now here are the exhaust pipes. And there is a gaping hole in this one, <laughs> like a pretty big hole. Maybe something hit that, or it could have just rusted off, but you could see inside of it. It's pretty dark in there. 
I don't know what you guys can see. Um, oh, somebody put trash on there. That's bad. But yeah, two giant exhaust pipes. And you can see the back, the mud flap. Looking for any hits on the back, but I do not see any. Yeah, I do not see any. But also, at this point, there is a bunch of small rounds that hit this. I don't know why they were wasting their time in shooting at this. But just like 30 cows, 50 cows were just shooting here, and it did literally nothing at all. You can see there's more up there. But this could also be shrapnel from HE. Oh, like a grenade, yeah. That's possible. But it looks... I don't know why they were shooting at it like that. A lot of, lot of Shermans, especially with the smaller guns, the short ones, they yeah, shoot the HI, HE for uh, anti-infantry, and if it didn't have anything better, I think I would, I would try everything I got, right? Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> and there's also more up here. And, yeah, basically. And there's some 50 cal holes. Something went, I don't know what hit here. That's interesting. But very cool possible small round there's also more up there if i didn't show you already but yeah that is basically it but oh forgot all about the turret so this turret was an 8.8 .8 centimeter an 88 millimeter gun and that is a fairly big gun because the sherman's the normal sherman had a 75 millimeter the m4a1 and um the 88 could penetrate five inches of armor at two kilometers of range so this had a large range and like insane penetrating power it just zip right through a sherman but yeah so the sides were about this would have been 60 oh wait i can't see because of this but 60 or 80 millimeter might have been under you can see that that's under that but that's the side armor, side of the turret and the back of the tur turret was, <laughs> I said turret, it. oh my god, 80 millimeter, so the 80 millimeter would have been, I'm trying to translate to uh, the US people, um, 80 millimeter would have been about like 4 inches or something like that, no that would have been like 3 inches, somewhere around that, and the back of this would have been 80 millimeter, same thing, and also, here is some um, a side view again. I already told you about the uh, front. So yeah. And also, something else could have came in right here, right there, like a 30 cal. But that's very cool. You can see that there's this is the back of the shell, the round. This is going to wrap up the video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. So this is one of the tanks from 489 of these Tiger Twos that was made. And a bee just smacked me in the ear. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can join us on our next adventure. And goodbye.